apparently Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. I thought it was Junior called out Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Uh, people saying he called out Mayweather. You know, Mayweather about to rematch John Gotti. Like, don't nobody care. He did try to run off on their bag, though, to show up at the press conference. He took their money and ran off. I don't know who he think he playing with. Them people's, them people's, them people's out there who you know, will send them people to get Floyd. I don't know why Floyd playing with them people's out there. I don't get it. But nonetheless, um... Yeah, but nonetheless, yep, Chavez posted a picture of him versus Floyd on social media. And I don't know if Chavez hurting for money or it's just a competitive flow about it. But nah, you know, I don't want to see that. Nah, they prime. That would have been a good fight. I still got Floyd beat them. I mean, Pernell, I ain't saying Floyd Pernell, but you know, at the same time, I just felt that, you know, uh I think Floyd would have fought very, very uh safe. I mean, it ain't like we ain't seen Chavez. Get 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 finesse before and get beat before by a slick fighter, but he definitely would have a chance. That definitely would be a very very fun fight to watch. You know, in that Mildred Taylor fight, a lot of people still mad about this fight. The Richard Steele took that from Mildred Taylor, even though people forget Mildred Taylor still turned around and still became a world champion after that fight. He just continued to take risks. He took risks, and everybody said, "Well, he didn't make smart business decisions." and you know, I think it got to be a healthy a balance between smart business decisions and risks. That's from my perspective. But he took a bunch of risks, still became world champion in an era in which it was more difficult than it is now to become world champion. So, but um, but Chavez was was a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? He wanted the country's best. Some people identify him as the best Mexican fighter of all time. But it says Chavez versus Mayweather Dream uh, Fight United. It says that... Uh, so it says that fans are excited about the possibility between a fight. No, we not. Mayweather Jr. Julio Chargers Chavez, the former three division world champion Chavez, unloaded a mock poster showing him and Mayweather with the inscription September 16th in Las Vegas. Fans want to see the fight, but no, we don't. No, we don't. Nobody on this goddamn green earth wants to see that fight right now. Julio Cesar Chavez is how old, man. Come on, man. Floyd been the kill with that man. He's 62 years old. Get out of here. Mike, how old is Mike Tyson? Because Mike Tyson looked old as hell in there with uh with uh Jake Paul the other day. He looked old. He 58. It ain't no way them dudes should be allowed to be in the ring, bro. It ain't no way they should be allowed to be in the ring. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Ain't no way they should be allowed to be to be in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way. And then soon it's gonna be, take somebody to get hurt in there and all that type of stuff. This exhibition shit got it kind of got to have some limitations to it. They got to have some limitations to it. They don't want the fans would love to see this. No, we don't want to see this. He said the exhibition fight between the two former champions hasn't been made official, and it's unclear if this was a gag on a 60-year-old Chavez part to get some publicity. Mayweather Love Money makes, uh, makes an exhibition match possible. However, due to his age, it would be a risky fight for May of Chavez. He's 15 years older than Mayweather. He hasn't been competing. In exhibi- he has he hasn't been competing in exhibition matches. Stay active, the way Mayweather has. He, Mexican star would need to pass a physical, and they would need to find a state that would sanction the match. Chavez and Mayweather should have fought back in the mid 90s when Julio was still fighting. However, back then Mayweather wasn't a star in the fight. Wouldn't have sold well. Nobody would think about pay per view where he was. That was kind of Don King thing, but. <laughs> You know, he said Floyd is fighting exhibition, don't care about that. So anybody trying to justify this is crazy. Maybe he was just getting people's opinion. Well, he did say September 16th. You know, he, he's out of his rabbit ass mind. Somebody come get their granddaddy. Somebody come get their granddaddy. 
my mom's going crazy. Let's see what they're saying in here. He said the fans are absolutely excited about the fight. Absolutely no one is excited or even thinking about it. Thank you. That's the only comment we need to see. Come on. Come on, man. Y'all understand how gross this would be? Do y'all understand how gross this would be? This, this, this would be, this is utterly gross. This is utterly gross, bro. This is gross. Nobody's saying, oh, I got to see this. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Nobody. If, if, if Mayweather took this fight, it'd be very dishonorable. I feel like what Jake Paul doing with Mike Tyson is very dishonorable. But, you know, then again, if they need the money, you know, and a lot of times, you know, sometimes they just need, they just lust to compete. A lot of times they just lust to compete. So you can't even get mad at that. A lot of times they just lust to compete. For real, they lust to compete. Like, it's just, I'm going to say lust. They fiend to compete. Like, that competitive nature when these guys retire, it don't never go nowhere. When you've been doing something your whole life and boxing ain't nothing but competing, and it's the ultimate, it's the ultimate gentleman sport to show that I'm better than you. You know what I'm saying? I'm better than, I'm better than you with these hands. I'm better than you with these hands. You can't, you can't, once you leave a sport, you can't find that competitive drive nowhere else. You can't find it. You can't find it nowhere else. You know, you can go join a, 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 a basketball league. You can go out there and join, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a pickleball league. You can go play golf. And that's what Michael Jordan tried to parlay his competitive nature to, to golf. That's what he trying, you know, he, that's what he tried to get his outlet from, from competing, but it's nothing like competing, you know, unless you just tired of it. What was that? Uh, I, I was at Andre Agassi. His father made him play tennis. He was literally, you know, he never wanted to play tennis. So, you know, his father made him do it. You know what I'm saying? His father made him do it. So it's probably easy for him to step away. I'm doing something that I don't have a passion for. You know? You know, I'm doing something that I don't have a passion for. When you got something, when you got a passion for something, you love doing what you do, it's hard to walk away. That's what they always tell people, do things that you love to do. You know, do things that you love to do because it'll never feel like an actual job. You know, people say, well, I don't understand how you be so consistent on, on, on YouTube. I love actually doing this. So it's easy. Do sometimes it feel like a drag sometimes? Yeah, sometimes you're like, damn, I don't even feel like doing it. You like, damn, you know, maybe sometimes I don't feel like doing it. Then there's other times like, you know, but once you start doing it, it don't really feel like nothing. Now you start doing it like, damn, okay, it's good. It's a good outlet. It's a good, uh, you know, it's a good outlet. It's therapy. It's something to keep you busy while you can make an extra couple of dollars on here. You know? So, but it's hard for them to, to, to find something to replace that, to replace that, that drive. And he probably want to get out there and compete. It, you know, a lot of times it don't be about, it be about the money. I ain't, be, I ain't doing it for free. But sometimes it's just like, damn, you know, you watch these young guys come out here and, um, You watch these young guys come out here and uh, 
and and they competing and all that type stuff, and you like, man, you know, uh, you know, you watch these young guys come out here and they competing. You like, damn, man, I, I remember when I used to do this, and you kind of get the, you know, kind of want to do it yourself again. You want to get out there and do it. So I get it, but hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video uh, financially. You want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.